Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring service for AWS cloud resources and the applications you run on AWS. CloudWatch enables monitoring for EC2 and other Amazon Cloud services so you can get alerts when things go wrong. You can use Amazon CloudWatch to collect and track metrics so you can get system-wide visibility into resource utilization, application performance and overall operational health and you can use these insights to react and keep your applications running smoothly. CloudWatch offers two types of monitoring. There's basic monitoring, which is included free of charge and polls every five minutes and gives you 10 metrics, five gigabytes of data ingestion and five gigabytes of data storage. Then there's detailed monitoring and this costs more as a price per instance per month, but it polls every minute. So if you want more detailed monitoring, then you can pay for it. AWS CloudWatch allows you to record metrics for services such as EBS, EC2, Elastic Load Balancer, and Amazon S3. And using these metrics, you can add them to dashboards to give visual or text-based notifications of what's going on. And this is a diagram of a dashboard in Amazon CloudWatch. Metrics are at the hypervisor level, so you can get things like CPU, disk, network, but you cannot see memory usage. Metrics appear as you add more resources to your AWS account. You can create events based on your CloudWatch monitoring, for example, triggering Lambda functions. So perhaps if an EBS volume fills up, you could trigger an event so that data is removed and archived from the volume or a new volume is created. So there's many things you can do. You can install CloudWatch agents on EC2 instances, and this will send monitoring data about the instance to CloudWatch. So you can monitor things like HTTP response codes in Apache, or you can count exceptions in application logs. You can set alarms to warn based on resource usage. For example, if CPU utilization is too high, then it could send a notification. It can also auto scale, so if your CPU is maxed out, you can get another instance launched to take care of some of the load. Or you can send CloudWatch monitoring alarms to EC2 actions to say recover an instance or reboot an instance if something happens. You can also use alarms to shut down instances. It isn't just used for starting them up. So if you have idle instances, you can get CloudWatch to shut them down for you. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at AWS CloudWatch and how we can use it to shut down idle instances. So before I started this demonstration, I launched an Amazon Linux instance and let it run for 10 minutes just so we'd have some data. So now I'm going to go to Management Tools and click on CloudWatch. And this brings us to the CloudWatch dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new dashboard and we'll click on create dashboard so that we can have a look at the monitoring statistics for our new instance. So let's just give it a name and we'll call it just simply learn just for a change. Okay, so it says create dashboard and now we get the option. Do we want to put text space or metric graphs widgets to our dashboard and we're going to select metric graphs. So we'll click on configure. And then we're presented with all the CloudWatch metrics that I have available in my AWS account. So obviously I've just launched an EC2 instance, so I'm going to click on EC2 metrics. And my new server is called Simply Learn CloudWatch Demo. So I want to add CPU utilization. So let's click on that. So let me create this widget. And then that now appears on our dashboard. So we can add more. So we click on add widget. We'll do another metric graph. We'll go another per instance metric. And let's choose network in and network out. And we'll create the widget. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot happening here because I just launched this instance and I haven't really done anything on it. But this is how you would create a dashboard. And it's quite useful and very easy to see. So you can create a dashboard for your instance types. So what we're also going to do is set up an alarm. So let's go to alarms. So now we want to create an alarm. So we click on create alarm and we get to choose the metric we want to base the alarm on. Now, obviously we have an EC2 instance, so we're going to choose that option. 
and we're going to do it based on CPU utilization of our Simply Learn CloudWatch demo instance. So we'll click on that and we'll click next. So now we get to give our alarm a name. So I'm just going to call it Simply Learn underscore alarm. Just for the purposes of this demo, we can give it a description. And now we get to set the alarm threshold. So we're saying whenever CPU utilization is, and we're going to say less than or equal to 50% for one consecutive period, and remember a period is five minutes in basic monitoring, we want this alarm to fire. So why would you do this? Well, imagine if you had a really high powered server that we're using every night to do some highly intensive compute computations. So you might know that it runs for a couple of hours and it's charging you quite a lot of money per hour to run. But when the CPU utilization drops below, say, 50% or 10%, you know the job is complete. So then you can get an alarm to fire and an action to happen. So you could set a notification so we could get it to send an email when this alarm fires. We're not going to do that in this demonstration, but we can do an EC2 action. So whenever this state is in alarm, I want it to stop this instance. So this instance is going to be stopped whenever the CPU utilization is less than 50% for five minutes and it's just telling us that there so now if I click on create alarm and here is our alarm so it's just uh, so it's telling us we're in alarm already because this instance has been up and running it has monitoring data for the last five minutes and it's saying the alarm has fired so let me click on it and we'll see why so state change to alarm reason threshold crossed one data point 0 0.0034 was less than or equal to the threshold of 50%. And it says when it's in alarm, it's going to stop the instance. So if we go to the EC2 dashboard, and here we can see that the Simply Learn CloudWatch demo instance has been stopped and it's in a status of alarm. So it's telling us that our alarm fired and it took it straight down. And obviously, that's a pretty dramatic example. You wouldn't expect anything like that to happen in a real world, but it's a good way of seeing how alarms work. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.